will deal with me to pay. No, 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 no. I'm turning the table right now. Do you want me to, to be real or do you want me to be fake? Do you want me to be real to or do you want me to be fake? Because see, guys, people don't like the uncomfortable truth. They don't like the uncomfortable truth. They don't like the uncomfortable thing. You see, you know, you know what it is? Imagine a caterpillar. It's a simple caterpillar. Oh, yeah, 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 it's a caterpillar. But it becomes a butterfly. So many people will say, wait a minute, it's a caterpillar. No, a butterfly is a caterpillar. So the caterpillar is beautiful. But people are like, oh, no, oh my God, I like a caterpillar. Oh, my God, I like the caterpillar. I like the butterfly. I want to be a butterfly. I want to be a butterfly. No, you can't be a butterfly. To be the butterfly, you must be the caterpillar because they are one. Some people call it a caterfly. That's what they call it. A butterpillar. Because they're one and the same. So these are the uncomfortable truths in life. So, I keep saying this whole stuff. You have to understand styles make fights. You've got to understand the vision. Now guys, you know, in my, in my, in my other preview, it's Arsenal and Bionic, I talked about UCL and basic UCL. Let's talk about Man City. You see, the lab streams were some of the greatest streams of all time. I enjoyed them. And I don't, I don't care what anyone says, those lab streams are goated. They are goated. And we were robbed. Pep watches this channel. <laughs> Pep watches this channel. Pep knows me. Pep hates my guts. And there's a reason why Pep viewed that guy that wanted to take a pic when he had his bicycle. Look, I've done all the math. I've done all the math. You know? I've done all the math. Remember? Black people, normal people. You know? <laughs> so, Pep knows me. And he, Pep, he viewed all those lap streams. And all the while when he viewed those lap streams, Pep was like, you mofo. You Nigerian prick. And amongst other things that can't be said here, in Spanish. Puta mierda! <laughs> so Pep was waiting. He was waiting for that web stream. And guys, wait, 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 what's safe? Let's go, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> then Lukaku happened. I still think Lukaku was actually paid. <laughs> so check the bunch. I bet you, I bet you Pep paid Lukaku. He paid him free. So because, see, before that 2023 dub, City, that's how they awarded to the club. It was simple. You know, they, there was a little bit of a shoulder thing, but I was like, no, but they, but they, they tried to. But once they won that UCL, you know, they were flowing. <laughs> then now I'm sorry. As much as I hate to admit it, this is how City now go into the club. <laughs> this, is not how they, now they, this is not how they go into the club, man. This is how they move. It's how they move. Now they've got that swagini. They've got that swagini. Because once you win a UCL, you move differently. There's water within you. You see, normally, see, guys without any UCL, that's, that's how they go. <laughs> you know, they go like this, 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 this. See, it's got the swag. Vader, what up, baby? Patrick, what up? So, I'm done, what up, baby? What are you doing? They go to the UCL. They're different. They feel different. And as Pep said, Pep, I go out that fucking guy, man. Pep said, once you win your first one, then they, they get easy. What? <laughs> Did I escucha that thing properly? So the once you win, the winning of the first one is, is hard. It's always hard winning your first one. But once you win your first one, then it gets easy. Pep wants another. He wants to go back to back. He wants to repeat. He wants to emulate Zinedine Zidane. He wants to emulate Zizou. <sighs> 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 
Let's talk about Real Madrid. You see your royalty. I mean, we, we, I mean, like, we know how Real go. Like, this, this is how Real go into the club, man. I mean, like, these guys, they're moving around. This is how, this is how Real go. <laughs> this is how they go. They, 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 they move around like this. Because once you win all the uses, they move around like that. They move around like that. They're moving all the way around. You know, so these guys, they've got that Latarini. That Latarini. Multiple UCL winners, UCL royalty. Three peats. <laughs> so, 12 UCLs. 4, 4, 4 and 5. Crazy. I want to try and say this the best way possible. And I need you guys to work with me here. You've got to respect Real Madrid. You've got to respect the badge. You've got to respect. That no team speaks UCL as well as Real Madrid. I told you. Despite all that UCL, the fluent UCL, how they coined the language, it is the it's it, UCL is is Real Madrid's mother tongue. You see, for all of us, we have to learn how to, to speak it. Every other team had to learn how to speak UCLs. Real Madrid, it's their mother tongue. <laughs> that is their natural tongue. So as soon as they come out of the womb, wash all the blood away, get a samurai sword, cut that freaking umbilical cord, they start speaking that UCL. It's the, it's the mother tongue. From birth! <sighs> Styles make fights. Styles make fights. And you cannot disagree with that. Guys, why are you on this channel? The reason why I'm on this channel is I crack jokes. I like to celebrate things. I like to wear a nice little suit. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm very extravagant. I may be a little bit crazy. Yes, I'm crazy, guys. I'm a, I'm a borderline psychopath. I'm very odd. I'm super strange. It is what it is. I'm a very strange person. But despite my strangeness and how a bit psychotic I am, and how I'm borderline nuts, you call me because of truthful football analysis. <sighs> Real Madrid is a bad matchup for Man City. Stay with me. Stay with me. City and Pep, it's about passing. Finding those channels, those little openings. You give them space, you come out at them. Oh man, they love it. They love it. So City and Pep, they love playing Real Madrid. They respect them. They know they can harm them, they know it's a dangerous game, they know it's end-to-end, -end. and they know Real Madrid have extreme weapons that can hit them at any point. But, stylistically, it is a fixture that heavily favours Manchester City, coached by one pep, freaking Guardiola. Pep doesn't need to change anything. He doesn't need to alter anything. He doesn't need to second guess. He doesn't need to be No. He doesn't need to do anything. Silencio! Siéntate, siéntate, siéntate! So, Pep just needs to chill. Pep just needs to sit back in his throne and just let his team breathe. KDB, do your thing. De Bruyne, do your thing, Rodri. City and Carlo, you need to do the thinking. Because <laughs> if you just go there and just do your thing, then you're just hoping for the best. Hoping that City miss their chances and you're more clinical. It's hoping. But if you need something that's much more foolproof, Carlo and Real have to come with something. They've got to, got to come with something different from a strategic, tactical approach point of view. 
How do you restrict City? How do you take them out of their elements? How do you take them out of their game? How do you make it uncomfortable for them while also hurting them, harming them? This is the reality. Jude Bellingham, the same Foden clown to you. People are already saying that starts Foden at the Euros. People say that Jude flashed the pan, scored all those goals, now he's a bum. He was never really that good. Overrated. Light skin tax. That's what they're saying. And again, guys, that's not me saying it. Guys, I'm merely reiterating the words and the discourse that have been permeating through the streets, the footballing streets. Don't harm the messenger. Listen and try and grasp and encapsulate the massage. Jude, you need a big game. If you flop, you have a disaster class and Foden clowns you again, it's going to be a very interesting stream. The Brick Academy, it doesn't discriminate. Dark skin, light skin, red skin, yellow skin, albino, pale, white boy. We don't discriminate. You don't. My brown brother, well, baby, India. What's up? We're seeing you. I see you like an avatar. <laughs> Judy, you did a big game. You were trash in that first game. Trash. You were crap. You had a disaster class. Foden didn't actually have a great game, but he had a great moment. And football is built on moments. I mean, moments merchants. I told you, consistency is overrated. Consistency are for losers on Twitter and who are opposite stats. Consistency are for losers. I mean, it's all about moments. Can you say what's up? Mayor Bellingham, can you have a huge moment that is pivotal and critical in helping Real Madrid to say what's up? Vini, we know what you can do. You could say what's up. Rod Rodrigo, what, what can you do? Carlo. Is this a game for Joselu? <laughs> sounds crazy. It sounds mad. It sounds almost rude. Almost psychotic, but could this be a game potentially for one Jose Lu? KDB loves Duncan on Man on Real Madrid rather. <laughs> KDB is gonna have a big game. You see, this is this is something you just, just need to accept. Okay, do you, you just you have to just accept what the reality is? City are gonna be ready for this game. City are gonna be very good. City are gonna be very good. For Real Madrid to come to Real, are going to have to be, be better. Listen to me when I say this. City love playing Real Madrid. The evidence is there. This is me just saying this stuff from the cloud. This is me spouting truth. I told you, what is the tagline of this freaking channel? The home of football analysis. <coughs> the full, the home of football analysis. That's the tagline. Okay, no, there's a reason. When I was thinking about, okay, what's a good tagline for this? You know, the home of football entertainment, football discourse. No, no, the home of football analysis. Analysis, the key word. Real Madrid, you have to come up with something new. City think and believe they've already in the semi final. Guys, I'll give you facts of Mondo. Listen to me here. Ah! Ah! Okay. Look. Thanos. He's trying, to, he's trying to do it back to back here. He's trying to do it back to back here. And he's going to do it. I feel he's going to do it, guys. I have a feeling. Guys, I've had a peek into the, the future. Yes, I've had a peek into, into the future right now. There's a strong chance that this is a reality. So, Real Madrid, there are several of us trying to stop the end of the footballing world. And Real, you're one of those who are standing in line. Could it be a Bayern Munich? Could it be an Arsenal? Could it be a Dortmund? Could it be an Athletic? Could it be a PS? Could it be a Barcelona? Who knows? Someone's going to say, what's well, Someone's going to rise. And real, we know what your UCL heritage is. We know what your big game is. But please listen to me when I say this though. 
heritage alone ain't going to win you this game. That's not how it works. That's not how things go down here. Strategy, tactics, stopping them. How do you stop KDB? Keep Haaland quiet. Bernardo Silva. One of the most underrated players in the world. Put some respect on, 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 on this, this guy's name. So for Real Madrid, you're going to have to be key. I'm hearing nacho cheese. Guys, I don't like nachos. I only like them on Sundays. I don't eat nachos on Wednesdays. I don't. I'm sorry. I only eat nachos on Sundays. So I don't know whether I'm going to be able to have some nachos on a Wednesday. I don't want nachos on a Wednesday. Half up, just gather yourself. Half up, gather yourself. Half up, gather yourself. <sighs> Breathe. Whew, okay. Guys, I want to be real with you. I want to be fully transparent here. Because you, you, you guys, you always be transparent here. I care so much. I try to be a football analyst, but guys, this, see, football for me, it's a, it's, it's a religion. It's a passion. It's... It's deep, and there are just some things that I care about, perhaps a bit too much. That's why I told you, every psycho! <sighs> Man City, if Pep doesn't overthink, which he's been doing less of actually, if he doesn't overthink, I don't see how City loses game. I just don't. Unless something freakish happens, something crazy happens, a red card, missing chances, some, something wild, who knows? But that's the beauty about football. You can never predict things. You can never predict things. It could just be a case where City come through and say, What's up? Do their tactics. But for some strange reason, things don't have go to plan. These things can happen. And they're like, Whoa, how the hell did they lose this game? But if City and Pep. Play with their game plan. I just don't know how they lose this game. I just don't. I don't. I don't. I'm being real with you. I'm being real with you. I'm being as real as three crack addicts. For Real Madrid, Real gonna have to have an amazing game. Jude Bellingham, if it is asset class, it's over. Jude Bellingham, you're gonna have to be amazing. You're gonna have to be amazing, 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 amazing. You have to be magnificent. You, Bellingham, you need a great game. You need a great game. An amazing game. City, this is this is a fortress. You don't beat City at the Etihad. This is they are near to unbeatable at the Etihad. <sighs> so you want a prediction? Three one. 3-1. 3-1. to Manchester City Football Club of Manchester in Northern England, I think. Probably. Yeah, North England. City win 3-1. KDB has a big game. Fulham, I think, probably gets a goal. Pro possibly. And that's what happens. Thanos wins. And Thanos is a step closer to destroying football once again. Join me on Twitch, live watch along, and join me on YouTube for the um, post-mortem, post-mortem live hangout. You know what it is. Stay true, stay real, and most importantly, and this is the key thing, STAY BLA!